Well, there's Mr. Beefcakes. About to take him over, load him up to where he can stay and grow off until this next spring. See, so I might get lucky. He might run in there. There he goes. Loaded right up. So we just loaded up Mr. Beefcakes. We're gonna take him over and put him in a lot behind a house that we rent. It's got a pond there. We made a little makeshift corral there at that place. It's got a lot of good grass there on it. So he'll have, I don't know, maybe about an acre and a half to himself he can wander around on. And uh, I can set him hay out for the winter there. And I'm, I'm gonna ask our renters, um, Bob there and his wife if uh, if they might throw some sweet feed and some alfalfa uh, beets off of some square bales if I bring them there to him and stack them to him occasionally back there and, um, and if we get any kind of ice or snow or excessive rain they can feed him some of that additional too. I just about bet that they'll be tickled to death because we had some bulls there before and they seemed to really enjoy them, didn't they? And, uh, and they said they were always going out there feeding them like vegetable snacks and stuff. So uh, that, that's, that's pretty cool. So they're really nice people. I'm just about betting they're gonna be more than happy to give him a little extra TLC and, and uh, some attention there. So here we are, I'm gonna let Mr. Beefcakes out at his new home. He'll have a pretty little pond, a lot of grass here to eat. You know, have plenty of room to roam around. Let's let him out here. really taking his time thinking about this. There he goes. Yeah, it's green growing underneath down here. It'll be shooting through soon. He need me to eat off a lot of this bed on top as well. <clears throat> yeah, that'll eat some of that too. I'll bring him some uh, mineral block and I'll bring him uh, maybe one of those molasses tubs and uh, that'll help sustain him. He eats a lot of this dried grass that's here on top. That molasses will help him out also. He's gonna check out all the boundaries. Our neighbors right over here, I don't know if they have them right now. I haven't seen them lately. They usually, yeah, maybe they're inside. They have some uh, large goats and they have a steer. I think I see the steer back there right now. Yeah, the steer's looking at him going. I, yeah, just one next door in their lot too. At least they're gonna have some uh, buddies through the fence there. I guarantee you that I'll spend a lot of time along that fence. Well, Mr. Beefcakes is excited. He sees that he's got potential new friends. Uh, 
There's the goats. There's their steer next door. Let's watch this. They're all meeting up with each other. Well, here they go. They're gonna do their first nose to nose. Yeah. At least he won't be totally alone. It help keep him settled down. Well, that's pretty cool. Hey, he's got some company there. He's already found a friend. Boy, our neighbor over here, Mr. Stanley, he's got his little smoker and grill going outside right now. Man, that smells good. <laughs> Babe, we should grill today. You got that chicken thawing out. I could grill it. I'll put that out there on the grill. 